So let us look at the Arduino board here and understand the connections. Pin numbers 2, 3 and 4 that are these three pins here are connected to the anodes of the three LEDs. These are the three LEDs. So pin number 2, 3 and 4 is connected to the anode of these three LEDs. The cathodes of the LEDs that are these three terminals are connected to the common ground that is this line. So this line is common and it goes through the ground terminal of your Arduino. So this we have maintained as the common ground terminal. So this is the LED connection part. Now for the switches. So what we are doing here is we take the two switches here or the push buttons we connect these two terminals are shorted so we connect it to ground so as I showed in the lecture that the pin terminal is connected to ground via the resistor via this resistor here same for the next one and the opposite side of the switch or the pin or the button is connected to your common terminal here which is VDD if you see it goes to the 5 volt terminal which is here it goes to the 5 volt terminal this connection is here so the closed end is connected to the VDD the open when it's open this terminal these two terminals of the Arduino are connected to ground this switch goes to pin number 8 of your Arduino and the other button goes to pin number 7 of your Arduino so please make sure that the two buttons are connected to pin number 8 and 7 pin number 5 we have connected to ground as per the program so please make sure you make this connection as well so I hope this connection is clear again I'll repeat that the three anodes are connected to pin numbers 2 3 and 4 the cathodes are connected via the resistor please don't forget the resistor to ground which is the common ground terminal the push buttons the terminals 7 and 8 of the Arduino are connected to the one terminal of the push button the same terminal is also connected to ground via a resistor that is this same for the second switch and the other terminal of the button is connected to VDD that is 5 volts via this connection here okay let's go ahead and look at the program so this is the program let us go ahead and upload this program again don't forget the Arduino board and the serial port So after the board gets programmed, it will take a couple of seconds to update. And as you see that when I press one button, only one LED glows. When I press the second button, only the second LED glows. Now the output of the third LED is the output of the first LED anded with the second. It's an AND function. So when I press this, if when I press both buttons you see that the third LED also glows so this was an AND function now let us go ahead and try a new thing in the program so since this is your program let's go ahead and change this AND function to an OR function so this in programming means OR this operator so let's we've changed this to OR let's go ahead and upload this program and see the output So now you see when I press the first switch or the first button this LED glows but since it's an OR this output is LED 1 OR with LED 2 so when one is on this is on when the second is also on 
the LED is also on so this is an OR function if you see you can play around with different functions here so in this lab we saw how to interface the push button with multiple LEDs and we also saw the ANDing and the ORing function which you can use in different parts of your program so please practice this lab again I shall see you in the next lab session thank you